what is going on guys real touch gml here back with another game maker minecraft tutorial and today what we're going to be doing is putting in bedrock into our game right so what i went ahead and did off screen was i went ahead and created the bedrock image so you know i just scribbled and then blurred it using the game maker sprite editor and uh and i went ahead and made an object for it so here we go object bedrock right here and let me just show you what uh what, what i've done here it's very very simple it it parents the block and in the create event you can just set your toughness to whatever now that's going to be an option you can do for bedrock you know you can make it like this huge number that will take days and days to actually complete or what you can do is you can create a step event for the bedrock and just say if is breaking is breaking equals false so basically anytime you click on it it's going to cancel out and it's not going to be able to, it's it's not going to run through the breaking animation so those are two things you can do all right so now what we're going to do is go ahead and go into our scripts here and for our stone level what we're going to say is if uh yy is greater than or equal to stone underscore level minus 32 then we're going to instance create xx yy plus 32 object bedrock and then also actually you know what let's put this in curly braces because then what we're also going to do is we're going to have to break it because we're in a loop here and we don't want the loop to continue on and then of course put an else after that so really that's all you really need to do so let's go ahead and copy that go into our generate snow here paste that obviously align this correctly and for our sand and there we go so we should now have some bedrock so let's go and run the game and see if that works let it compile here all right so here we are we are in game now so if we go ahead and start digging down. Do, 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 do. Oh, for some reason that's coal. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, there's now bedrock. Now it's kind of close to the close to the uh, the ground there. If you want to actually, you know, make it deeper, you would have to increase the room height. So let's go ahead and test it again. So actually, you know, let's let's take a walk. And that is a short tree, by God. All right, so let's go ahead and take a walk here and just travel to a new chunk or maybe a new biome to make sure it's working there as well. And let's restart it just because I, I need to get... Ah, here we go. All right, so we've got a biome. So let's go ahead and just start digging down. And that was only one layer of sand, wow. So we're digging, we're digging, and as you can see, we've got bedrock. Now, let me just tell you, in the last tutorial, you guys were talking about how that did not fix anything. Well, it actually does fix it. I just took it out because I'm running the YoYo compiler, and right now, it has a lot of errors, and it, for some reason, it doesn't allow move snap uh, as a function for some reason. So I, I just took that out just to run the YoYo compiler, but in our last tutorial, I put sh equals move snap, which does, in fact, work. So, uh, so yeah, now, now one thing that we need to actually do, though, is if you notice when we actually go down, it looks really crappy because what's happening is the camera is going underneath the bedrock into that, like, void of nothing. Ooh, diamond. And, uh, and basically, yeah, it, it looks really bad. So, as you can see right here, I mean, it doesn't look good. So, we, we're going to want to have stop that right at the bedrock. So, we're going to have to manipulate the camera. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to need to go into, let's see here, our object player. And I'm just trying to, where did we put our camera movement? All right, so basically here is our camera code. And what I've done quickly off camera is I went ahead and calculated what the bedrock level is and what my view underscore y view needs to be at before stopping so you're probably gonna have to do this by yourself um, I mean it has something to do or it has to do with the stone level here and basically just kind of calculating that out or 
what you can do is, if you're not good with calculations is that you can go into the draw event and actually draw your view underscore y view and then go down to bedrock and right when your camera is supposed to stop write down that value and that's the value you have all right so in this step event what we're going to do is with this view underscore y view basically here's what i'm going to say i'm going to say if view underscore y view zero is greater than equal to and my value is 360 and our y for our player is greater than view underscore y view zero plus view underscore h view zero divided by two then what we're going to do is just say view underscore y view zero equals 360 and then right on here you say else and then the view underscore y view so that's really all you need to do so let's go and run the game now and see if that worked All right, so let's. Um, so here, as you can see, I, I wrote my value up here. That's how I did it. And uh, if we go ahead and here, let's. I just want to get somewhere that's already low. All right, we'll we'll do right here. So if we go ahead and start going down. As you can see, our value is the yellow one on the top left there. And right when we reach bedrock, we're at two eighty five now, three seventeen. There's the bedrock. And as you can see, now we stop. The camera now stops us, and we can no longer go down. So we keep we keep going at it. And when we click the bedrock, obviously we can't do anything. But then when we come back up from the bedrock, we are allowed to you know just roam around and do all the fun stuff. So that is how to lock the camera into place. One more thing that we're going to do before this tutorial ends is actually make this a little bit more efficient and just blend the images that we can actually see. So we go ahead and go into our object block here in the draw event. What we really want to do is just say if viz. So if it's visible, draw, uh, blend this. That so so in other words we we're not blending blocks that we can't see and using that, you know, CPU power and all that. So here, let's do it for here. And we go and run it again. And again, that's not really going to do much. It's just going to give us a little bit more uh, on a performance on the performance side because it does get a little bit laggy at night. So that should help. So let's just go ahead and wait for night. We all right. Here we go. And it's turning night. I mean, I, I guess we don't really have to watch this entire thing again. But, oh well. Alright, so go and like, go and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, actually, there. That's a little glitch there. So, as you can see, when we break it, it's like flashing what it should be. And that's, of course, with, because it's being visible and all that stuff. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out later on. So, go and like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 100 likes this time, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.